우리의 이야기는 Our story begins with a national contest of kindergarten children with extraordinary talents which was held some time ago. 해마다 진행되는 이 경연은 The contest is held every year for 13 years. 이 경연에서 어린이들은 지능 서예 그린 Children compete in intelligence, calligraphy, drawing and talent. Now we are going to introduce some of the talented children. 지금 이 어린이는 This boy is doing sums in addition and subtraction of six figures by visualizing abacus. The contest is aimed at finding out talented children and enhancing the practical qualifications of the kindergarten teachers as well. So different were the special skills presented by the kindergartens to the contest. 이 어린이는 This boy is doing sums in addition and subtraction of numbers transmitted through different sounds. This calculation needs correct judgment of sounds and visualization of abacus at the same time. Two kinds of thinking are done at the same time. She's now calculating the numbers popping up on the screen separately. Moreover, two numbers displayed are changed 100 times at 0.5 second intervals. It means she's calculating a total of 200 numbers, four numbers in a second. This calculation is very good for developing the visualizing ability, fast judgment and high concentration of children. Now she is moving her fingers, which means counting on the abacus. Different numbers are changing on both sides of the screen, meaning that she is visualizing two abacuses. The talents of the children were really incredible. We are also pleased to think that those children are the future of the country. And we felt a great pride of our kindergarten education. 도집 하동지 집도 빨 집에도 배 굴어봐요 집에도 집 집에도 집 다이몬도사 하도 칠 스페도 잘했습니다. 놀라운 어린이들이 없었습니다. 지난 시기에는 근데 이번에는 여러 측면에서 놀라운 어린이들이 많이 나왔습니다. 이것은 2019년도부터 시작된 어른 얘기 교육의 결과라고 생각합니다. 그래서 우리 지금 보면 어른 얘기 교육이 확고하게 우리 유치원 자기 교육에 졸실이 필요하다는 것을 정말 느끼게 되었습니다. 어른 쪽내 개발 교육에는 the education for developing the right brain is said to be including abacus game, hearing, rubik cube, memorization, and robot making. Of them, the education for abacus visualization draws attention of kindergarten teachers. Abacus education is given at many kindergartens, not only in Pyongyang, but also in other places of the country. 
To have an understanding of the abacus education, we called at the November 3rd kindergarten in Dyomyung Street. The children are now moving their fingers before using abacuses. Moving fingers quickly is essential in the abacus education aimed at fast calculation. Developing quick sense of hands is also helpful to the brain development of children. At first, the abacus education is given to the children for fun. Then the children are encouraged to be interested in figures and calculation, and they are inspired to do sums while visualizing the abacuses on which they counted. In a word, abacus visualization is realized. The children are required to count figures at the faster speed so as to increase their judgment and concentration. When children can count one figure numbers perfectly, they are allowed to count two figure and three figure numbers gradually. They develop the intellectual faculties in a stepwise way. Sometimes they are given the abacus education combined with hearing and encouraged to do sums by abacus visualization along with words and linking. Calculation based on abacus visualization means that the right brain is being developed. It means that both the left and right brains can be used in processing all the information in the future. But it is a labor-consuming work to give the intellectual education to the children at the age of five or six. We wanted to know about how long the kindergarten children can concentrate. After discussing with the teacher, we made a test. Very short is the time of concentration of the kindergarten children. They are restless. Moreover, the kindergarten education is a preschool education different from the regular primary school education. We visit the Mire primary school to have a better understanding. These pupils received the school education for about six months after leaving kindergarten this year. The kindergarten education is necessary for their correct understanding of 40-minute lesson. We also tested to see how long the first-year pupils of the primary school can concentrate. According to teachers, the first year period of the primary school education is most difficult, and the higher the number of grade becomes, the easier the education gets. Educational methods suited to the child's mind should be still applied to the primary school education and teachers wreck their brains for it. In recent years, however, the intellectual level of pupils entering primary school have changed a lot as against before. 입학한 학생들보다 12년제 실시한 다음에 입학한 학생들이 지능 상태가 높고 
이게 할다라고 모든 일에게 다 창조성이 높습니다. 그 원인이 We called on officials of the education commission in charge of kindergartens to know the reason. Now they are examining the new teaching methods presented by kindergartens across the country. According to them, the present kindergarten education has been completely switched over to the direction of intellectual education. They said they were mother tongue and counting lessons separately in the past, but it was turned into a combined education to further raise the intelligence of the children after the enforcement of the 12-year compulsory education. The combined education method means teaching the kindergarten children so that they can be interested in studying. Then, what change has the combined education brought about in the kindergarten education? This is the Xinyang Weekly Kindergarten. What is notable here is that the education is given with main stress on teachers' questions and children's presentation. It is a difficult task for the teachers to give the combined education. 지난 시기는 교양원이 먼저 설명해 주고 어린이들이 이렇게 따라 말하도록 했단 말입니다. 그런데 지금은 어린이들이 먼저 그림을 보고 자기가 충분히 발표하게 한 다음에 그 다음에 거기서 잘된 점을 개발시켜 주고 안된 점은 다시 시성시켜 주는 방법으로 이렇게 해서. 정해진 시간 안에 주입식으로 On the contrary, however, children played a great role in the combined education method aimed at their intellectual development. Preferential study of it had to be made because the combined education was an intellectual education given according to the age and mental qualities of the children while making most of their individual characteristics. For education suited to their individual characteristics, the teachers have to watch the children at lower class carefully. Through the observation, teachers should learn the characters and tastes of the children and find out correct methods suited to them. They also had to give constant education to the children any time according to their psychology. Besides, Taekwondo education is necessary to infuse the children with a national character. It cannot be neglected for building up their physical strength. In the course, the teachers find out the talents of children in the bad. They give after-school education to them in the afternoon according to the tastes and characteristics. The after-school education includes intellectual education such as Padu, Korgor and Abacus and art education such as the early musical and rhythmic education. Any of such education cannot be neglected. It is given by teachers to the children at the age of five and six every day. Some teachers pay a little attention to the intellectual development of other children while bending their eyes on the unusual talents of some children. Uh,妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，妈妈，
in which the children have to be away from their parents for six days. So if a child fails to come up with others, he or she would be lagged behind more, teachers said. It's a sleeping time. A teacher told them to try to talk about their daily routine in the form of diary. This method is helpful to the intellectual development of the children at lower class who do not know how to write yet by fostering their ability of expression and letting them visualize their daily routine. There is a saying that education starts with embracing. That's why the teachers there were reading the minds of tens of children. Tomorrow, our children will spend another day here. Please wait for the next time to see the efforts made for the intellectual development of the children.